Hey guys, it's Tatsu. Today, let's look at how a group of Korean lobbyists are trying to force changes to the popular Japanese anime Demon Slayer. Here's the quote from the Seoul Yonhap News. Korean group protests against Netflix, saying it needs to explain Japan's history as a war criminal. Bank, a South Korean citizen's group that conducts private diplomacy on the internet, demanded that Netflix explain Japan's history as a war criminal in connection with the appearance of earrings reminiscent of the rising sun in the Japanese anime Demon Slayer. Vank has also raised the issue of the scene in the Netflix drama Babysitter's Club that makes it seem as if Japan, the perpetrator of the war, is the victim. The drama touches on the incarceration of Japanese Americans in the United States during the Pacific War. Vank said that there is a good chance that children who do not know about the war will misunderstand Japan as the victim and demanded that an explanation of Japan's history as a war criminal be added. The bank referred to here is a private organization in the Republic of Korea that aims to carry out Korea's information and propaganda activities. Although it calls itself a private diplomatic mission, it is a fake grassroots movement funded by the public money from the Korean government. This organization is at the center of a South Korea campaign to undermine Japanese status, called the Discount Japan Campaign. For example, when Japan was shortlisted, to host the 2020 Summer Olympic Games, a campaign was launched in South Korea to discount Japan as a dangerous country full of radiation. Korean organizations such as VANK has raised several issues relating to the rising sun flag, including the demo slayer. However, some of them are not directly related to the rising sun flag. Six months ago, there was a movement in the Philippines called Cancer Korea. This came about after a Filipino-American posted her tattoo on Instagram. Many Koreans bashed it for its resemblance to the rising sun flag. To Koreans, the rising sun is a symbol of war, but her tattoo has nothing to do with that. To be honest, I think it's a terrible accusation. The same goes for the demon slayer. Tanjiro's earrings are described as a floral design and have nothing to do with the Japanese flag of the time. At least, it's not the sort of thing that people outside of Japan can complain about and get away with. If Netflix were to give in to Vank's demands and change the earring design, it is insulation of anime production. If such a thing were to happen, it could trigger a cancel Netflix movement in Japan. Japan did a lot of terrible things to Korea during the war. I have no intention to deny them. But, however, these are issues that should be resolved through legitimate criticism and discussion. They should not be solved by humiliating anime or calling innocent Japanese people criminals. I sincerely hope that Vank will make a wiser decision. That's all for this video today. Thank you for watching. Bye.